So a quick little video on uh, taking out the rear brake pedal on the Yamaha T700. Um, so the reason why I had to take it out was I managed to clip that on a tree stump on the weekend. It's um, very soft metal here, this, and it bends. It's obviously soft for a reason, so that this, at least the this, this part of the metal of the brake pedal bends instead of causing damage internally and transferring the forces into the, the braking, rear braking mechanism. So I assume it's been done for that reason. It makes sense to me. Um, but bending it um, with a pair of pliers when it's in situ is okay to a point, but to get it back to straight again, I had to take it out. And to take it out, it's a little bit of a fiddle, but it's possible. So you have to take that bolt there, that bolt there, that bolt there, these two, out um, and then this plate becomes movable it is still bolted onto the frame down here um, but you can get it out this this plate out enough to wiggle the whole um, brake through the gap here basically you can make enough room gently obviously you don't want to bend it too much on this part but just a gentle just enough and it sneaks out um, the additional things I had to take out to get it all out there is an there is a bolt behind here um, it comes out, um, there is also a spring that comes out with it, so just take note when you take that out, um, exactly the direction which it goes in, otherwise you don't get that nice return on your rear brake. Um, the other bits I had to take out was this little spring here, um, it goes into that hole, took that out to get it right out, and then uh, you undo this little nut here, take your um, rubber stopper out first, because otherwise it just gets bunched up, uh, and screw this out, there's like a little nut I don't know if you can see it in the video, but um, unlikely. Uh, but there's a little nut in there. Uh, it, it it just screws out, and then this 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 part disconnects from the the piston, and you can pull it all the way through the frame behind. There, it will fit if you loosen those other bolts up. Then you can bend it to your heart's content and fit it back in place. Obviously, if you're unsure, take it to your local dealer. Um, I do a fair amount of my own maintenance on my bike. No expert, but I, I, it, I'm happy with it. If you're not sure with your brakes, as I say, go to your dealer, be double safe. Hopefully that helps.